in today's video, we're going to be making these little cute Valentine hearts. You can use these on all kinds of projects. Um, I've added one to a project I recently did, and I'll be sharing that with you at the end of this video, along with the free pattern for that. Um, you can add these to any projects. You can make a keychain out of them. You can add them to your kids' school Valentines for their Valentines parties at school, um, or Valentines from you. And they're super easy and super quick, quick to make up. So let's get started. Okay, so you're gonna need any yarn you have lying around. I'm gonna be using blue today, and then any hook that goes well with that yarn, a yarn needle, and your scissors. Right, let's move these out of the way. You are going to need to know how to make a magic ring for this project. So if you do not know how to make that, I have a video on how to make that and I will link that in the description below. So to start out, make your magic ring. Pull your yarn through. And then you're going to chain two. Okay. Once you have your chain two, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put three double crochet into the ring. And every part of this will be worked into the ring, and then we'll pull it closed at the very end. So three double crochets. Okay, once you have those three in, the next thing you're going to do is three half double crochets. So one, two, three. Okay, now we're going to make the point of the heart at the bottom. So the first thing you're going to do is chain one. Then you're going to make a double crochet and then you'll chain one again. Okay, once you have that complete, you're going to make another three half double crochet. Two, three, and then you're gonna make another three double crochet. One, two, and three. Okay, and the last thing you're going to do is chain two, and then you're going to slip stitch into the circle. Okay, and then you're just going to pull that string to tighten it, and then you'll come in and you'll slip stitch in this first chain that we made. Okay, now we'll Cut that, and if you're going to be sewing this onto something, you'll want a fairly long tail at the end. Okay, pull that through. Okay, and then you're going to want to pull this middle string really tight to keep to get it to close all the way. You have to pull pretty hard, and it looks like that. So. To keep that middle closed tight like that, I just go ahead and weave in both strings, or both ends, just to make sure it stays good and tight, and it doesn't come undone. We don't want that. Okay, and then cut that off. And then if you're not going to be using this to sew onto a project, you can go ahead and weave in this other end as well. Okay, and we are done. If you want to see more videos and free patterns, please hit subscribe and you can like this video as well. I appreciate all the support there and I will see you next time.